hello everybody and welcome to kanyuri vlogs thank you so much for tuning in so today's video has been sponsored by spider pharma yes spider pharma contacted me and uh, they asked me if i could review their products so I accepted the offer and uh, here we are. So the first item they have sent me is uh, this uh, grow tent that I have just um, opened. Well, the box looked very sturdy. I must say when I received it, it was in a very good condition, no damages at all. So I received it um, a while ago. And uh, as, as you can see, it is pretty much straightforward really uh, to put together this item so it's made up of a framework very good and sturdy material this is a metal it's made out of metal as you can see the framework was easy to assemble it did not take me a long time it actually took me around 15 minutes to put this um, grow tent uh, together and uh, i'm just going to be very honest uh, just because they contacted me or uh, sponsoring this uh, video it's not going to influence any review that i i give you i'm going to be honest i'm going to be taking you step by step through each and every um each and every step and i'm going to be telling you exactly what i think about this grow tent as you can see it's pretty much straightforward so i've already made the shell which uh, is uh, the metal the metals uh, putting them together and i'm gonna leave all the description and every detail the specifications and uh, anything that you might be interested to know or might be uh, asking i'm gonna leave every description down below so be sure to check that out I have never received, I have never used a grow tent in my life before and uh, I'm not very, very good at um, giving the, you know, the specification and telling you exactly how, how different it is from any other that I may have used. Well, I haven't used any, but I can tell you for sure that this material and the metal is very, very good quality. It's not a flimsy uh, type of um, framework. It's not frail. The material itself is very sturdy. It's made out of, um, well, they say it's out of, made out of 600D Oxford. So it's, uh, I think it's, it's, it might be like a very strong um, canvas material. Uh, it doesn't look like it can tear easily or anything. So I have actually finished putting it together. It took me 15 minutes and I did it single-handedly. So uh, pretty much anybody can do this, you know. Uh, it doesn't uh, really require two people. But if you, if, if you have a helping hand, even better. So as you can see, I'm just rolling up an observation window that is an observation window that it has which is a uh, very good uh, very good it unzips e easily and uh, it makes it easy for you to have a peek inside of uh, when your plants are in there as you can see on the inside it has a super reflective uh, material and it cannot uh, let any light out because it is very very well and uh, very well made and very thick the it has like an extra thick canvas it stands very sturdy and uh, I'm, I'm i'm pretty impressed to be honest i'm really really pretty impressed with this uh grow tent i just can't wait really i can't wait to start working and uh you know putting my plants in there start growing my plants indoors because the main thing about grow grow tents is that you can have your plants indoors yes you can actually you don't have to wait for the weather to get better so that you can uh, do your gardening outside no now <laughs> we are taking gardening indoors yes yeah, so as uh, you all know i'm uh, very passionate about my gardening and uh, to be honest i'm really really excited about this uh, new adventure well i call it a, an adventure because uh, it's very very exciting and uh, it's it's gonna be in the uh, for the long term as i said it's uh, it's got this um, 
it's like a draw, draw straps these draw straps which are actually ventilators it has multiple of them all over and uh, this uh, this helps with the airflow because it's very fundamental to have airflow when you're growing crops that is one of the conditions that actually help with the uh, plant germination and uh, so I also have these other metal bars that just go uh, across and uh, join in with the other uh, two, two metal bars that made the framework. So these two parallel um, crossbars um, are going to be very useful in hanging your equipment. You know, in a grow light, you might want to put in a fan, you might want to put in a grow light, you might want to put in a... Um, any other things you might even want to 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 put in your your trellis in case you decide to grow some uh, some runner beans or some uh, peas which climb up and uh, at the bottom you can see we have uh, this is a tray and uh, this tray is uh, is also ref made of the reflective material it is a very good because it's very good because actually it can be removable you can remove it uh, in case there is any dirt because um, there's too much water it needs a bit of cleaning so that can come out and uh, can be wiped out uh, and put back together so when there's pillages and everything you don't have to worry that it's gonna go and uh, you know just be everywhere you can actually remove it and uh, take it to your laundry room clean it up and put it back in uh, below there you can see we've got more ventilation you can see where i was putting my hand in so that is really really good and i'm so impressed i just can't wait to uh, get started with my indoor gardening so stay tuned to see uh, some of other things that they sent me and i'm really really excited guys and i hope you are too <laughs> Well, so Spider Farmer once again surprised me with another item. They sent me a grow light. This is the SF2000 dimmable full spectrum LED grow light. It is the upgraded model. And um, as, a, I, as you can see, the package came in a very, very well packaged. It looks like, um, you know, just like the other package. It's very well packed. Uh, the packaging is sturdy and uh, no, no damages whatsoever. So as I'm pulling it out, I realize that it actually has another... A package inside and it is very well packaged guys i'm really really impressed i'm impressed by their method of packaging and how well and how efficient the delivery was very fast as well and uh, i'm really really starting to 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 love this so as you can see look look at that this is very good the way they have packaged together there is no way that um, the item can get damaged on transit and uh, so wow 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 what can i say so that is the led full spectrum grow light that's how it looks like that is how it looks like So as you can see, even at the bottom, they had put uh, some uh, protection uh, to properly secure the, the grow light. So, and that is why it just stayed intact in its, <laughs> in its little co cocoon. Yeah. So they have actually issued uh, some, uh, some uh, ropes. That's the hoist, which um, I'm going to be using to hang uh, the, spy, the grow light, the spider farmer grow light onto, onto the crossbars that I put on top of my grow, grow tent. They also gave me the hangers as well. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. So everything looks like um, it's all set, all set to go into the grow light. So depending on which country you're in, I think um, 
the 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 fuse uh, is going to be different they also threw in their manual obviously there and it's good because uh, i will need a little bit of help i have never used such a sophisticated uh, grow light before as you've uh, seen on uh, some of my videos i've used a grow light before but not as good as this in fact uh, this is a very uh, on the opposite end it's much bigger and this is an led full spectrum uh, before in the previous uh, times i have used the red and blue lights but this is different this is different guys so i'm not gonna get really deep into the specification i'm gonna leave all the the specifications in the description bo box below because i'm not i don't want to mislead or i don't want to say something that it's it's not actually correct and uh, because i'm only trying out this for the first time this is why i really really need to you know learn about uh the grow the, this grow light before i can um, actually talk about it but uh, from looking at it it looks very well made very sturdy it has an on and off button which is for the dimming the light depending on how much uh, bright uh, the brightness uh, that is for the brightness so that is the uh, dimming uh, switch and you have a dial this is the that's the dial for reducing or increasing uh, the the light so and you have some um, cable ports yeah those are the ports for f you can insert a cable uh, when you're using a multi multi grow lights and you want to join with another grow light those are the ports that you use you have the on and off switch button there you have a very powerful drive this drive is actually uh they call it the the the, the mean well they call it the mean well drive and uh it's it's very very well made very well made so uh, i'm really looking forward to this So I'm, I'm just going to bring it a, a bit closer. You can see on top, it has the uh, high efficiency white light board, which is uh, nice and shiny. Just, uh, you know, in case of spillages, it's easy to wipe or anything. But it has the, it's it uses the Samsung LM301B diodes, uh, if that makes sense to someone. And uh, you can see they are not the normal, uh, traditional um red and blue lights these are white light full spectrum and uh, it gives the optimal canopy penetration and so it is very 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 effective as they claim so we can't wait to try out this Take me back, take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go. So as you can see, I've uh, set up everything. I've put in my uh, LED full spectrum uh, light inside my grow tent. Um, it wasn't very hard to 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 hang it up there and uh, you can actually adjust the the height and it tells you in the manual it gives you all the tips that you you need when you're using it for the first time so it was very helpful for me because i'm just try i'm just starting to germinate the 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 seeds the seedlings and um, it's very easy because it tells you the exact height that you should put your grow light uh, from your from your plants and as you can see that is the dimming uh, dial which i am just playing around with and i'm trying to see how bright uh, it can get and it can really get quite bright you know it can get really bright i suggest maybe you might um, be you know safer if you don't look directly into the light because it can it, it can um, be a bit uh, very strong on your eye but uh, i left it uh, mid halfway 
which looks very good on my eye and also on the plants i think so it's it's i'm really excited about this as you all know i planted some seedlings a while ago i've been uh, um, sowing more and more seedlings now that i have this and i i promise you that in the next you know the next few months i'm gonna be telling you everything that is happening in here because um I want to make sure I utilize this uh, grow tent and this grow light to the maximum. I'm very excited uh, this opportunity and I really appreciate uh, Spider Farmer for this. So as you can see from afar, that is how it looks. Um, that is how it looks up there. And I have left some um, ventilation open. I didn't uh, close all of them. I didn't close all of them because what's important when uh, crops are germinating is for them to have good airflow, for them to have good temperature, which uh, may be around 75 to 85 um, Fahrenheit. And also the uh, humidity, uh, humidity really, really matters a lot. And this is why I'm, um, I'm very keen on getting myself a hygrometer because I want to be taking a note of the humidity inside the the grow tent humidity should be between uh, maybe 50 and uh, 70 uh, percent not not more or not less than that will be good for crops germination and uh, as the crops become bigger you should uh, you, you, you should it says that you should put the grow light close uh, closer and closer uh, uh, from the closer and closer to the to the plants so now i've just started my plants at around 30 30 inches uh, 30 inches from the from the plants it is 30 the grow light is 30 inches from the plant and i will uh, as the plants grow i will continue to to decrease uh, the distance as you can see once again it's very very reflective the material and the, the plants look all happy all happy plants and uh, the gardener is happy as well i'm happy and i am really really excited well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees let me fly like the leaves when they fall tent at the moment i have got uh, seedlings that have already started germinating i've got sunflowers uh, sunflowers i have other types of flowers i have vegetables as well i've uh, planted tomatoes and i've planted um, kale and spinach in there so i'm gonna be leaving some in here to just see how they thrive and uh, the good thing is the, this uh, grow light is a uh, is is like a replica it's a good imitation of the sunlight i will leave all the specification as i said in the description box which um, describes and explains all this and uh, maybe you will be able to understand uh, when you read the specification because i'm not too familiar with them so i am really excited i'm happy about this the good thing is it's inside it's inside my house and whenever i i want to just have a look that will be quick and easy so that's it for today guys i'm gonna be trying out this grow light and this grow tent i'll keep you updated uh, please hit the subscribers button if you haven't done so and thank you so much for tuning in take me back take me back to the old dirt road where mama and papa used to go let's sing all them songs from a long time ago.